What's up guys, the Penthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Monday and we are going to see what delights EA Sports have given us today. Uh, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Feel free to subscribe if you are new. Do we have any XP today? People been, ooh, people been crying out for it. Oh, there is some XP, not much. FC Pro World Championship. Join in on the action of the FC Pro World Championship at Twitch slash EA Sports. Complete FC Pro Season 10 and earn rewards, blah, 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 for an ultimate pack. Oh, it's a loan. Watch it for a loan, Tevez. And then for a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Ah, uh, but you get the XP on July 11th. The season will already be over then. So there is no XP for this season. It's all for next season. Probably going to be worth doing though, isn't it? Probably going to be worth doing. What else have we got? Nothing new in there. Do we get... Just nothing new, guys. Nothing new. That sucks for a lot of people that were trying to get up the XP path, but such is life. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, guys, let's check out the Evolution. Do we have a new one? Allez les bleus. We do have a new one. Allez les bleus. Where's the England one then, EA? Do you know what I'm saying? We've got Allez les bleus. Overall rating, 88. Acceleration, 89. Country or region has to be France. Playstyles is 7. Playstyle plus is max 1. It gives long ball pass plus, technical plus, and aerial plus. Wow. It gives relentless, 5 pace, 4 passing, 4 dribbling, dead ball, 7 physical, 3 dribbling, 4 shooting. One star weak foot, the next shot, eight defending, three passing, and four shooting. This obviously, oh, if you if you guys have still got some of these cards, Oof. aerial plus long ball. You you you've got to find a striker. You've got to find a striker, or like potentially, oh maybe a centre back. You know what? With long ball pass plus actually and block plus. Wow. Right, striker or a centre back, I reckon, for this one. There's going to be some good options. We'll take a look at those once we get on. <laughs> Excuse me, foot dot gg. It's free as well. I like it, EA. I like it. What have we got for SBCs? They oh, please don't have ruined the eighty-two plus player pick. Please don't have ruined the eighty-two plus player pick. Do we have new players? Doesn't look like it today. Oh, we do. We have Conor Gallagher. After glory, Conor Gallagher. Four star, five star. Good shooting, great passing. Okay dribbling, very good defending, very good physicals. Long ball pass plus, ping pass plus, tiki taka, whip pass. Finesse shot, power shot, intercept plus, jockey, first touch and relentless. That's an insane card. Obviously, if we win in the semi final, he'll get a plus one or five star, five star. Probably be five star, five star. I have a feeling this should be quite cheap though, because he's only 94 rated. It's an 84 rated with the team of the week or a team of the season. An 86 rate with a team of the week or a team of the season. Do you know what? That's good value. That is decent. It is decent. We have also got oh, the 84 plus player pick. The 82 plus player pick. Please, EA, don't screw this one up. No new challenges. No new icons. No new exchange. The 84 plus player pick requires. Oh, it's so painful, man. Honestly. Like, this is one of those ones, guys, I'm going to do because of FOMO, but I actually think it's terrible value. An 83 rated squad is absolutely fine. Two 85 rated cards, not fine. Yeah, not okay with that. That is pretty poor from you, to be fair. We'll do one, just one. Um, and it's, it's just pain. Just pain. Um, but you never know what you might get out of it. So it's a one of four, actually, to be fair. Yeah, it's pain. 
just pain. It's just, it's just let me know what you get down below. Show me. And then the thing that matters the most, guys, this right here, one of 382 plus, it needs to be the same as what it was. We hate EA. We hate the 81 plus player pick. It is the same as what it was. Oh, thank God. It is just eight players with two rares. This, this sets the grind alive again. I will do a video this evening showcasing. How much better is that? Showcasing how to grind. I know Jesus Navas is not worth significant amounts of coins. 160k though is still pretty mad to be fair. Um, this card's so legit. <laughs> this card's so good. What a pickup for me. Um, but yeah, the 82 plus player pick gives us great value back in the game. Uh, I've already done like a few uh, like how to grind videos and they are for the most part pretty, pretty samey samey. But we'll revisit it. We'll go again. I'll show you guys how it works uh, over on the second channel, youtube.com slash Nepenthes2 or Nepenthes2. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, and so with that, that, that is kind of all there is for today, actually. I'll tell you what, though. Obviously, because today, you know, we don't have any uh, upgrades and stuff because the Euros don't come back, don't, doesn't come back until tomorrow. Connor Gallagher for me, guys, is decent. An anchor chem style on him is very good. Controlled lengthy, 99 sprint speed, and just generally great pace. 93 defensive awareness, otherwise max defending. Insane physicals, insane passing, very good shooting, and good dribbling. Debatably better as a centre-back. Um, I really like his play styles as well. Ping pass plus and long ball pass plus is very rare as a combination. Intercept plus as a midfielder is banging. Relentless is banging. First touch jockey are brilliant. Tiki tackle whip pass are brilliant. And then power shot, finesse shot, brilliant. Um, so I'm, I'm all about it for Conor Gallagher. I'm all about it. Who? Are we going to put in here? Now, what does this give? This gives... Uh, aerial plus, technical plus, and long ball pass plus. I, I, I personally honestly think a striker is going to be what I'd be looking for. And this is who's eligible. Mateo, not for me. And he got he's got centre forwarders available. That's pretty mad. Trezeguet is an interesting one. I also want like the player to be like reasonably tall. Turam's an interesting one. Ooh, flashback Giroud. Even the uh, the Centurions Lacazette's an interesting one for me. Now these cards, I don't know. We like it's hard to get hold of these sort of cards now. What I wish here would do last year, um, last year in in FIFA 23, we had all the time um, campaign. Picks, right like um what was it called it wasn't called best of it was called uh geez i can't remember what the name of it was but it was for like past promos right and we used to get them loads and people hated them because who get, you know maybe if you got neymar on mbappe you was like loving it but nobody cared because the players were worthless now that we have evolutions as a thing and we can actually get things like this you know this is a six foot tall rutter just release a, 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 a mixed pack, mixed bag campaign pick or whatever, because this card is actually pretty legit. With the Hawk Chem style, he's four star, five star, great pace, great shooting, great physicals, good short passing and vision, okay dribbling, great play styles, aerial plus, technical plus, long ball pass plus for a centre forward is okay. Um, we've got Musa Dembele, and of course, feel free to share with me your Evo, whether that be on PSN, Twitter, Xbox. Well, not Xbox, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, this Dembele is good. With an engine chem style. Great shooting. Great physicals. Very, very good pace. Very, very good dribbling. Okay passing. That is a banger of a card. However, three star, five star. That kind of lets it down a little bit. Lacazette already has a play style plus. Oh, does it not? Oh, there we go. Oof. I know he's got like other good cards as well, Lacazette. That is good. Yeah. That is a good card. That is a good card. Aerial plus on Lacazette is a bit, bit pointless. Olivier Giroud, guys. Now, for me, this, this is going to be the one. 
because he's got Power Shot Plus. And you guys know I love Power Shot Plus. This card becomes outrageous. 99 positioning, finishing, and shot power, volleys and penalties. Good physicals. 97 short pass with 91 vision. Decent dribbling with an engine chem style. I mean, that is... You, you could give him a hawk as well if you want to get the long shots up. I personally would uh, because, like, you, you guys know I'm a, like a massive fan of Power Shot Plus. I think it's the best play style in the game, at least for the way that I play the game anyway. Um, and so, five-star weak foot, Power Shot Plus, Technical Plus, Aerial Plus, six foot four, by the way, 99 jumping, 99 heading. That pace, oh, this is a card. This is a card. And of course, you had to have done him. You have to have him in your club. I wonder, I wonder if I've got him in my club because I have got the team of the season version. I was going to go and have a look, but let's actually uh, take this and compare the Giroud. Now, obviously, the Giroud team of the season is five star, four star. Has more pace, more shooting, more passing, more dribbling, more physical. Also has aerial plus and power shot plus and acrobatic plus. It's, it's kind of like six, one half dozen the other, really. This one's four, five. This one's five, four. This one has four play style pluses, including uh, technical and long ball pass instead of acrobatic, which I think is a massive dub for the 94 Giroud. It's still very good. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, we've got Marcus Turam. Now, this could be a big card. He's already got aerial plus. Nah. He's, uh, unfortunately, his dribbling is just not quite there on this card. Otherwise, a decent card with high low work rates. It's very nice. And then David Trezeguet, guys. Can you believe it? Wouldn't want to put that one in. This one here. Technical, acrobatic, aerial, and long ball. Finesse, dead ball, power header, first touch, and relentless. Similarly, a nah, bit of a stinky card. I think some of the ones that I've already looked at have been the best ones. Probably going to an engine on him. Nah, this, that's a stinky card. That's a stinky card. Um, but there, there's the, the other option, of course, that you've got is you go for a center back. Um, if you've got this De Sassi, wow. Saliba, brilliant. Baran, wow. Simican already got better cards. Desai and Blanc obviously got like high rate cards. This Hernandez could be a beast. This Tadiba we already looked at. There could be some banging players here. What I like about it is like he's lengthy, perfect physicals, perfect defending, great pace, okay dribbling. Like aerial plus on these, these sort of center backs is just so good. One of the things actually that uh, team of the season Saliba doesn't have, that the 98 Saliba does have, is Aerial Plus. And it kind of lets him down a little bit. So now that we can change this 88 into this, oh my God. Like, look how good that card is. Aerial Plus, Anticipate, Long Ball Pass Plus, Technical Plus, Finesse Shot, Dead Ball, Power Header, Jockey, Intercept, Bruiser, Relentless. That's a crazy card. Might even go catalyst on him, you know, as well. Get that. Oh my days! That is, that might well be. Let's again compare him. I want to compare him to. I, I feel like the ninety eight is obviously going to be like superior, but it's also two point two million coins. I mean, no, not really. Wow, it's two four versus three four. But so compared to his team of the season, better play styles. Not quite as good skill moves, but who cares? He's got four star weak foot still. That's great. Same work rates, more pace, more shooting, more passing, more dribbling, more defending, and more physical. This Evo'd Saliba is better than Team of the Season Saliba. Let's get him out. This one, it's three less pace, but the same sprint speed and both lengthy. It's one less passing. And actually has better short passing. It's the other categories that are there, but actually, who cares? Vision maybe is important. It's got better dribbling in certain categories and a little bit less balance, but a lot less agility. He's got better defending and a little bit less stamina, but otherwise better physicals. That's mad. Now, of course, 98 Saliba can still be upgraded more. If you have the 88 version, though, this now becomes, in my personal opinion, an elite card and is going to become a player. If we, uh, if we look at my... Uh, my club here you'll notice i'm actually using yuri and timber uh right now at center back with this gabriel card because the saliba just doesn't quite cut the mustard even to this yuri and timber however what i do have assuming that i held on to him is i do have this 88 version of william saliba 
who will now go into that evolution for me and become an equally brilliant card. Really happy with that, personally. You know, it's, it's not often that I'm getting uh, evoable cards in this Arsenal team anymore. Uh, so Saliba there, a really good option. Similarly, for Rafael Varane, a little heavy on balance. Great, great stats otherwise. You know, again, a Catalyst chem style there or an Engine chem style on him is good. He's mostly... No, a Catalyst for lengthy, I'd go for. I don't know what this is like compared to his best card. Way more defending, more physical, more dribbling. The Foot Birthday is five-star, four-star. This has better play styles. One less pace and one less passing. I mean, yeah, for you Man United fans... I know Varane's left now, but if you're still running your Man United team from this season, this Varane in there is, is banging. If you've still got these cards, I know some people don't have them, and you didn't Evo Hernandez in the first place, which I did on the series that I had because it was very good into the Euro Defenders or whatever, uh, you can now put him into Ale Le Bleu. And do you know what? For a centre-back slash left-back, that's a banging card, isn't it? Relentless bruiser, anticipate, jockey, power, header, dead ball, finesse, long ball, slide tackle, aerial, and technical plus. He's six foot tall as well. An anchor that is a very, very you could even put a shadow on him if you wanted. I would go for an anchor, mind you, but that is a very, very, very good card for free. We might add, and then that Tadebo that I just looked at as well, guys. Evo Tadebo, yeah. I mean, controlled lengthy, I'd probably put an anchor on him as well, mostly lengthy, that's much better. Perfect defending, great physicals, good passing, good dribbling, brilliant play styles. You know, the fact that he already has block plus is so big. That, that is, again, it's another insane card. I, I, fair, fair to say, guys, right? Because I've been like a bit disenchanted with Evolutions. You know, they're, they're, for, throughout this year, Evos were something at the start of the game that I loved. Then they became like way below the power curve. And even now, like some of these Evos, like Festival Football Glow Up 2, 100,000 coins for this, it's just not worth it. But these free Evos... That are, you know, and there's so many of them now as well, like Canarino, the, the Lucky Sevens. Um, we also had Orange on Slaught, Stars on Stripes, the Copper content as well. Uh, there, I think there was one more free one as well that was really good for a 95 rated card. Like, it's absolutely superb because more than likely, you guys have got a card in your club that becomes very good. And the main reason is because it's actually given very good play styles and play style pluses for two different positions, centre-backs and strikers. So I really like it. Um, I really like it. I think it's absolutely banging Evo. Um, what players have we got? What, what am I missing? Uh, new players. So we've just got Gallagher. We already looked at Gallagher, didn't we? Yeah, I think a shadow for him for me or an anchor for him for me uh, in that DM role, which is good. And then no objectives. Oh, yeah, the FIFA World Cup Pro champion objective, but no XP, guys. And so... That's a bit sad that there's no XP, but that's the way it's going to be for now. So for today, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.